Hey y'all, it's Charity and I'm here with a graduation all over template, I guess. Um, so I'm just really going to show you how to work with it. I'm going to turn this off for now. So, um, this is something that I made, whatever. Um, when you're printing, you can, I mean, you can take that off if you're going to like just save it. When you're printing, be sure to leave this on. Size guidelines kind of help you know, you know, your design area. It gets a little bit more detailed. Like if you want to just have a, you would turn these other ones off if you wanted to just focus on like a small. So that's like a small shirt. You see what will be inbounds, what will be out of bounds, and what will, you know, work and how you should adjust accordingly. But I typically just leave them all on. Uh, so now that we got that out the way, I tried to make things simple by, you know, grouping everything together. So, I mean, we'll just see. Also, like for the end, as far as printing in Photoshop, I have these guides here. So that, let me show you an example. If you go to print, and this is for 13 by 19 prints, okay? If you were doing, um, let's get my settings right. Let's get the right printer. Let's get our paper settings together. Okay. Now you can always print in eight and a half by eleven, but that would take too much time, too many sheets for me personally. So let's give it a little time to adjust. So your color square should pretty much line up like this, okay? And I'm gonna push done. Um and so when I get to that point, I will reveal this little area and it's simply a guideline you're not going to print um with those on but that's just to let you know what areas you're cut you have covered like hopefully that makes sense so this is the area right right so that's why you just click done and not print that's that area then if you wanted to then tackle the next space you will go back to that hopefully this makes sense because I typically um, I know there's an issue with printing in Photoshop and figuring out how to do it all but you're just gonna go puzzle piece style so that is your like the squares are 13 by 19 so it should be good and I'm gonna take it off then you can also put this other uh oh Put this one back on but I have them lined up to where there's some overlap so really um, you'll be able to cut off one piece and just this little slim piece of color here and at the top those will help you kind of overlap so that you're you won't have like that white space because sometimes we miss images and things like that so I hope this makes sense if you need help or clarification just reach out to me let me know um this is my first kind of pre-designed situation outside of just a regular template so i just want to make sure it's easy for everybody to work with but when you're ready to actually print you're going to cut all of those off but you're going to know that there's going to be some overlap i'll get more into that if i need to um, if this is like beyond you, then don't even worry about it and print and like paint or something. Save your image at the end and then just print and paint or something. But for those who don't want to have to take it to an additional, um, like to use additional software, that's what you would do. So I have the name here. You can obviously, I mean, that's kind of self-explanatory. Just come click and you can change. So I'm just going to say charity. Uh-oh. okay okay blah 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 so you see how that goes um number logo is just this right here so if you want to take that away and just use that then that's totally fine but if you have a logo that kind of fits in that space that would pretty much be where you would insert it 
Um, I have a drop shadow on it. You don't have to use that. That's another thing, y'all. Once you put your stuff in place, go to properties and play with these settings because, um, you know, your color scheme, everything is not going to be the exact same as mine. The effects that you want are not going to be the same that I desire necessarily. Okay, so same thing for the class of if you don't want that there, you want to change any of that, you want to just leave it plain Jane or, you know, you toggle with these. These are just the effects that I use. You don't have to continue on with those properties at all. Student images, kind of self-explanatory. You will pop yours um, in here. I used masks so that I can have not so blunt, chop, boxy edges. Um, so you would insert your images, you know, in the spaces that you want. But this is just me organizing so that you won't look at tons of things and not know what's going on. Excuse the background. That's my husband. I've told him that I'm recording, but husbands will husband. Um... So here, this little logo feature is kind of cool. You double click, it's a smart image. I've already popped in my business logo here so you can just see the difference. So whatever school, whatever logo, it could even be an additional picture. You would pop it in here, size it how you want. You can fill up this whole space, it doesn't matter. Then when you click out, you click yes, and that will update your smart image as we will see. And there's my logo. If you want to move those around, feel free to do so. Um, it will keep the same properties. I'm going to go back a step because I want to leave that the same. Uh, let's see. Okay, splatter, pretty self-explanatory as far as what that is. But you can come down here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's make it. Let's open this up. So, also another thing is I put a white overlay on all of the splatter. But, let's see. You don't have to. You know, this is where you start to edit and do what works best for you. So, I'm going to change it to a different color just so you can see how simple this should be for you. Okay. And okay. Boom. So, you can come in with other stuff it doesn't have to be white you know if your school has multiple colors like a golden state kind of gold situation then, then um you know get to moving and also this is a graduation template this is how it started off but speaking of golden state you can you know make it for whatever it doesn't have to be just graduation just just a starting point for things. Um, so I'm going to just make it like pink or something. Okay. Mm, so the splatters, and of course, you can move them how you want. Uh -oh. So that has the splatter as a whole. Um, don't feel like there's something you have to be bound by. Once you get the hang of it, and as far as organization goes, you can honestly delete the group if you want. Don't delete what's in the group. Just delete the group itself. That makes things easier. But you can just use your toggle, you know, your arrows to move individually if you need to. Because a lot of times when you try to grab it as one, um it will do what it just did and move the whole situation but this is just for like i said organizing purposes right now you once you get familiar with it you can totally delete that um also for the background i think this is very important let's open it up so you can totally flip the script if you want to create your own what i would do is just um, add another layer like that, and then I will come over here to my oh man, make this quick. Come over here to my tools and get a gradient tool. I put this in the space up there. So here you will change your gradient. 
You can do whatever you want. Let's go with like gold and purple. Change that color to like a goldy, let's say Laker. So we don't always have to be in the mindset of, um, you know, like school necessarily. So with this clicked, you pick a space. You don't have to go straight up and down. That's just what I do. You can have your gradient going side by side, but that just adds another level of, okay, customization. You can do whatever you want. Um, I'm going to leave that. But um, let me show you one more so you can do it sideways or something. I have my same tool picked. I pick a different. Let's do a preset. Okay, so say you want to do a unicorn situation. Boom, there you go. So you can do whatever on that end. Again, another level of customization. So, yeah, this will be live on the website tonight, guaranteed, um, if you're waiting for it. Um, let me know in the comments, because sometimes I don't know if this is stuff you guys want to see. If it is, just let me know. It'll be on my website later today. I have a couple errands to run, and then I'm out. And I'll be, you know, back and ready to share this with you guys but I wanted to record this really quick so that you can get a feel for it and understand what's going on so that you can maybe leave your questions or whatever or if there's anything that you think needs to be tweaked I could do that before you know it's live so and again you would turn off your size guidelines and boom print this would be easy simple for you to pop in and get tons of all over shirts in at one time in the meantime, thanks for watching, guys. You have a blessed day.